This is the completed structure for XEF3 minus. We're looking to do XEF3 plus. So we'll use this as our starting point. You can watch the video on XEF3 minus in the card or description. Um, let's do this. So instead of having the minus here, this minus sign meant we added one valence electron. When we have XEF3 and it's a plus, that means that we're going to take and we're going to, instead of having a plus one, we're going to have a minus one. And instead of having 30 valence electrons, we'll have eight plus 21. That's 29 minus one. We'll only have 28 valence electrons. That means essentially in this Lewis structure here for the XEF3 minus, we're just going to take and get rid of a pair of valence electrons. How about these right here? And then I'll adjust the electrons to make it look a little nicer. And that's the Lewis structure for XEF3 three plus. You can see that each of the fluorine atoms has eight valence electrons. They must obey the octet rule. But xenon in the center, it has two, four, six, eight, ten valence electrons. It can have an expanded octet, so that's okay. We've used all 28 valence electrons for the XEF3 plus. That's the Lewis structure. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.